Hi, scrappers. This is Alice Bung from Morgantown, Pennsylvania, and I am going to show you this really cool page um, technique, and it's using frame border punches. And this is the um, dollop arch border frame punch. And the uh, frame punch means you can cut around the outside of a page. And let me show you my workstation so you can get a better idea of exactly what that means. It means cutting around the edge of your page with a frame punch. Um, you can do this with a couple of different ones. I've done it with the spider web uh, border frame punch. This is the um, Damask Flourish border frame punch. And today we're going to be doing it with this dollop arch frame punch, um, just to show you how to do this decorative edge and do the square inside. So in order to do that, you are going to take a decorative piece of paper. You're gonna need a solid piece for your background, um, but I'm gonna take a decorative piece of paper and I'm going to cut out that frame in the middle. And what I mean by the frame in the middle, if you see on my sample page, I have this, this frame that I cut out of the center. And you wanna do that first so that it's easier to measure on a straight line rather than trying to measure on your dollop um, edge. So I'm going to put this at my two inch mark and this is my deck, my 12 inch trimmer. I'm going to move the housing down. If you notice on the side of your housing of the blade, there is a white line and there is measuring um, a ruler on the side of your edge, but it's hard to see where that white line, where the cutting edge is going to start to see exactly where it is on your, on the ruler. So know that that one, that white line where it's gonna start cutting to the edge of the housing is exactly one inch. So if I wanna start on the two inch line and put my, white line and start my cutting right on the two inch line. I'm going to put the edge of that housing on the three inch line. I'm going to put a little binder clip in there to hold my spot. And then I know at the bottom of the page, I did not cut, I did not push it down. At the bottom of the page, I want to end my cutting at the 10 inch line, which means if I put that white line at the 10 inch mark, the edge of the blade housing, the edge of this blue box is actually on the nine inch marking on my ruler. I'm gonna put another binder clip. Now my blade can't go beyond where those binder clips are. So I put my paper in, I put it at the two inch mark. I cut between those binder clips. I turn my page put it back down at the two inch mark, cut my page, turn it one more time, put it at the two inch mark. So I'm cutting each side at the two inch mark, starting at two inches and going down to the 10 inch mark. And what I'm doing is cutting a frame out of my paper. Oops, put it at the two inch mark and I'm cutting between those blades. How simple was that to get that square out of your paper? Now, if I would like to cut it another half inch in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting my paper at the one and a half inch mark. One and a half inch. And that, this is gonna give me a half inch frame out of around my frame that's already cut out of that edge that's already cut. So that's one inch. I'm going to move my blade housing back a half an inch and put the binder clips. So it's only going to cut a half an inch more than what it did before. 
And now I'm going to flip my paper. Again, I'm putting it at the one and a half inch mark. I moved my binder clips so that my blade housing, what am I stuck on here? Oops. I'm putting it at the one and a half inch mark, dropping it, whoops, I'm trying to do this sideways for your, for your viewing purposes. Okay, um, I made sure that that white line was now at the 10 and a half inch mark and the white line over here is at the one and a half inch mark. And I just keep cutting, making it super simple with these binder clips and it keeps, it makes it so easy to cut the exact same line on each side as long as your paper's at the same point. I'm cutting the same amount of space off and you can see I am actually cutting that half inch off to make that extra frame. So my paper's at the one and a half inch line. I drop my blade down in place and then cut and now I have the half inch frame all the way around. And my paper was double sided. As you can see, it had a different pattern on the other side than the front. I'm gonna put my frame over there. Now I'm gonna put my trimmer away. I am going to get out my, this again is the dollop arch frame punch, meaning that it can cut a frame around the edge. You can cut this as a border by starting right on these black lines inside. What you're going to do is punch it and then move it across to the next spot. And I'll show you that in a second. And you can punch your border all the way across. But when you're doing a frame um, around the edge of a square, you want to start your paper at this line right on the edge here. See that, that whisker line right across there? Now I'm going to put my frame, my paper into the frame or into the punch. I'm gonna start my piece, my yellow piece of paper right on that whisker line on the outside of the edge. I'm going to move it down and you see that it did cut this beautiful edge to my paper. So I'm gonna line it up with the markings right here. And once that decorative edge that I just punched covers those markings, I can move my paper across to the next punch. Um, and it's gonna line it up perfectly. So I just move to the next one. And what all I'm doing is covering that beautiful, um, decorative edge right here on the on the actual mechanism of the punch. I'm gonna move that over. Now I only went across. I still have a square here and a square here. So when I turn my paper again, I am going to start on that outside frame, and I'm going to punch across one two. There's a little square that comes off. Sure, you can save it if you think you're gonna use it. Honestly, remember, you don't have to save every little piece of border maker edges. Oops, I think I moved that one. Oh, that's all right. Um, we're gonna just do the next one. And then I'm gonna do, bumping into everything here. Okay, we're gonna do the next one. And you can see I'm just aligning it up leaving that those edges so that when I turn it, I'm gonna start that, I'll cut that square off the edge. Again, I'm starting on the line for the frame. And if you get a little extra, you can just tear it off. Sometimes it stays attached just a tad. Um, so we are gonna just move this down. Keep punching all the way around and lining up the last punch you did, keeping the edge of your paper up against the back. There's almost like a little wall on the edge here for your paper tray. And you wanna keep the paper up against 
the edge of that tray. Oops, I miscalculated a little bit, but that's all right. One, two, I didn't go anywhere. There we go. Oh, messed up. And don't worry if you messed up. I'm trying to make this fast. I'm trying to show you how to punch these edges. If something messes up, that is okay. That's where you put your picture. You can put a sticker there. Um, that's the whole beauty of scrapbooking. You can cover any mistake up. Nobody's going to notice it. So I'm going around with my border, making sure the back of the paper is up against the back wall. And you can see how great a frame punch can do these corners all the way around. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my paper, the frame punch I did all the way around the edge. I'm going to take that center sheet and put it the same color on my paper, just like I, um, as if I have the frame cut out and you can leave it like that. That's pretty enough. Or you can take that frame that you had cut out from that center, flip it over because it's double-sided paper. And now what I can do is put that down. Whoops, I'm getting caught on my dollops here. I put it on a diagonal. And then what I do is pop out the inside of my paper so that two corners are kind of covered. I keep that centered inside the doll and there's your page. Um, like I said, any edges around the outside, you can always turn around and add a sticker. You can add some kind of embellishment. Um, that is not gonna matter. Um, I have this embellishment I can put right down here. And voila, there is your page. Um, it's using, again, using the frame punch, I, the tilted frame from inside. So you actually learn some two, two new techniques here using the frame punch as well as how to cut a frame out of your page. So I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you create it and post it on my website. I would love to see it. Um, have a great day. Happy scrapping. Enjoy.